Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. Today, to get things started off, I wanted to uh, craft some uh, lesser antidote. And uh, it looks like we should have all of the required uh, ingredients. And uh, the reason I want to craft this is because I'd like to go and attempt to do the first artifact cave. And, uh, well, the uh, chances of contracting mega rabies from uh, the bats in that cave are pretty high. And so I think it's uh, probably best if we uh, brought along some antidote, uh, just just in case we do end up uh, catching mega rabies. I believe uh, the lesser antidote can uh, cure that. Uh, we should also repair our armor. Uh, this cave can be rather difficult. Uh, there are arthropleura, which uh, can break our armor uh, fairly easy. So uh, we might as well take a, a fresh suit of armor just in case we do encounter some of those. Um, and then our antidote should have finished. And I'm not sure if we're going to take all three. Uh, we were able to craft three with the leech blood we had uh, left over from the uh, the swamp adventures we have uh, we've done over the past couple of days. Uh, however, I think I think it might be best if we do take all three. It does have a long uh, spoil timer, so uh, even if we don't use it, we can always bring it back and store it in the refrigerator. So we're going to head out to the artifact cave. Uh, I'm just going to take lightsaber which is the higher level of our two sabers and uh, I'm hoping they'll be able to handle all of the uh, the creatures inside the cave uh, at least fingers crossed that they, uh, they'll be alright uh, the cave should just be up uh, over this little hill here uh, it is on the uh, the slopes of the volcano and uh, it, this I believe the artifact is the artifact of the clever if I'm uh, not mistaken I believe that is the uh, the artifact in here and it is uh, one of the three artifacts required to uh, fight the brood mother and uh, so let's get a uh, little platform placed down and a bed in case we uh, in the event that we do uh, perish inside the cave uh, we'll have a, uh, a spot we can respawn quickly and uh, hopefully recover our uh, our body our corpse and uh, then we could uh, always if we have to run back and uh, bring Sam over here to finish the cave if lightsaber is uh, unable to or if they die uh, hopefully they don't die, but uh, it uh, it is possible. This cave can uh, can be difficult, so uh, we'll do our best to hopefully keep our saber tooth alive. But uh, uh, let's head in and uh, see what we encounter in this uh, this artifact cave. Uh, it is by far, in my opinion, the easiest of the three uh, artifact caves for the uh, the brood mother. Um, the other two, I, I believe it's the Artifact of the Massive, is the most difficult artifact cave, and I forget what the third artifact is called. Uh, which is uh, the other artifact is comparable to this cave however the artifact of the massive that cave is uh, quite difficult and uh, I don't believe we'll be prepared for uh, quite some time uh, however I did just want to test out our uh, capabilities by uh, attempting the uh, the first of the three artifact caves so uh, we'll see how it goes uh, this cave uh, it doesn't have as many uh, creatures lurking around as some of the other caves, however, the Arthropleura are definitely the worst of the uh, the species you'll find in caves uh, because they shoot uh, poison projectiles which uh, disintegrate your armor. And uh, we don't have a spare set, so fingers crossed we don't uh, we don't uh, get surprised by one of them uh, because that could definitely be uh, bad for us. Um, the bats, I believe, are the only creature that can uh, transfer mega rabies to us, but we do have three antidotes. Uh, in the uh, event that we do contract mega rabies, but uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully we can avoid that. It is always nice to uh, save the antidotes in case we uh, uh, want to uh, use them in uh, future caves. Uh, however, if we do end up having to make more antidote, we might have to uh, return to the swamp and get more leech blood, which is uh, by far the the most rare of the uh, ingredients for the uh, the antidote, but. Uh, uh, it should be fine. I'm hoping we, uh, if we do contract it, we should only contract it once. It's not uh, horribly common, however, uh, there are a fair amount of bats in this cave, so we'll just do our best to uh, try to uh, avoid contracting it. Uh, I believe our chances of uh, doing so are lesser because uh, we are mounted on our saber tooth. Uh, at least you would hope so. So, uh, let's continue on. There should, I'm pretty sure there was supposed to be a uh, loot drop up ahead, however, I suppose sometimes it uh, doesn't spawn. Uh, however, on that ledge over there, there are Arthropleura, uh, the large uh, insects. So we're going to see if we can uh, possibly take them out. We should also uh, 
take off our armor just in case they do happen to land a hit with their uh, their poison that uh, it won't uh, destroy our armor completely. Um, let's see if we can uh, possibly get some uh, shots off on them before they uh, they come over here and we engage them uh, head on. That would probably be the best uh, best thing to do here. Uh, I think we missed that shot, unfortunately. Uh, there was one of the projectiles. Luckily, we had our armor uh, off, so it uh, it hurt, but it uh, at least did not destroy our armor, which was really what we we're trying to avoid here. And uh, this other one is uh, must be a high level. It is actually doing a uh, quite a uh, quite a bit of damage to our poor saber tooth here. Uh, they are actually almost a, uh, down to a third of their health. We might have to heal them. Uh, up before we continue onwards. There are quite a few bats, so let's uh, feed them some uh, meat and heal our saber tooth before continuing onwards. Um, the most dangerous part is these bat swarms. If uh, you get a lot of bats together, your chances of contracting mega rabies are quite high, so uh, we're, in general, we're going to want to avoid getting uh, ganged up on by uh, these large swarms of bats. However, it looks like uh, we are able to handle them without uh, contracting any mega rabies, so uh, we should be good to uh, carry on. I believe the artifact is uh, coming up here just up ahead uh, down this final uh, passage. And uh, what's nice about this this uh, artifact of the Clever Cave is it's a fairly straightforward passage uh, straight down to the artifact. Some of the others can be a bit of a labyrinth trying to navigate. However, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the artifact should just be across this little... Uh, um, underground lake, this subterranean little lake over here. There's the artifact. It looks like it is guarded by a, a small swarm of the bats, however, uh, we should be fine. Um, we can handle uh, most of those uh, creatures. So far, Lightsaber has held up uh, quite well. They've uh, done a, an, an excellent job of uh, taking out all of the, uh, the creatures that uh, reside in the cave. Um, luckily, there were only two Arthropleura so far, so uh, nothing too terrible to worry about. It's uh, when you get a swarm of the Arthropleura, that could uh, definitely uh, be a death sentence for our uh, our poor Sabertooth here, but uh, so far nothing like that, so uh, I guess we've been rather fortunate in that regard. So I will take our good fortune, and uh, we'll uh, move on. Occasionally I believe there is a Sarko that can spawn in this little uh, subterranean pond, however it looks like we got lucky and... Uh, no uh, water creatures have uh, decided to spawn in, so uh, we are lucky in that regard. However, there is a, a swarm of spiders that have webbed us, which is uh, unfortunate. All it does is uh, slow us down for a, a time. However, uh, seeing as these are the only enemies and there's no uh, ranged uh, uh, attacks coming in, we should just be fine to wait out the webs. And uh, once we've gotten through this little swarm of scorpions and titanoboas, I believe the artifact should be ours for the taking. Um, I think we've cleared out most of the dangers, so let's grab our artifact, and uh, then we'll make a, a quick escape out of here. Um, I don't think there's anything around here, hopefully. I can hear the bats, but... Uh, oh, it actually sounds like uh, there was a swarm of bats waiting for us. Oh, I think they knocked us off. Uh, lightsaber there. Should be fine, though. Um, and uh, even if we do contract mega rabies, we haven't had to use any of our antidotes, so we do have three of them. Uh, hopefully this bat will uh, settle down and let us uh, chomp him. And he'll uh, come around. One more hit. That should finish him off. Uh, anyhow, I do believe we are going to uh, leave the cave as soon as possible. Uh, I don't want to linger here too long. It is also awfully cold. Uh, it wouldn't be a terrible idea to wear fur armor while doing this, but... Uh, uh, we were able to uh, successfully obtain the Artifact of the Clever, so uh, we're going to head home and uh, build an uh, Artifact uh, pedestal, and uh, we can display the first of the three Artifacts for the Broodmother. Uh, I suppose we're just going to uh, have our little Artifact Museum up on this little ledge uh, above our uh, crafting station, and uh, we can put our first Artifact in there, and uh, it does give off a bit of a glow, so sort of a nice little source of lighting. It's not terrible, and uh, I think it looks uh, uh, cool. It uh, shows off our accomplishments, but uh, anyhow, I do believe we are going to leave off the video here, so I hope everyone did enjoy watching. Definitely had fun playing today, and accomplished a lot, so I'll see everyone later. Goodbye.